Okay, now, Sir Niels, let's give an update to our viewers why they haven't heard for us for so long. I'm finally back in the Philippines. If you wish to subscribe, not only press the subscribe button, but remember to press the bell icon that you see on the screen right now. That will send you a little uh, email notification each time there's a new video on my channel. And the apartment you see in this video, the background, uh, is actually for rent for a few days or uh, a few weeks on a short-term basis. And I will leave a link in the description field below this video in case you're interested. So let's start with me, with myself. So guys, I'm really, really sorry about not posting so, so much videos and updates about dating, relationships, because I really, really had an awesome year for the past few months. Because first, I got promoted with my day job or my casino job. Thank you, Sir Niels. <laughs> and second, and definitely the best thing that happened to me last year was I got married. And I'll show you pictures of my wedding soon after this video or later this video. And uh, it was really an b a busy and uh, I did a lot. And we also traveled with my husband. We went to Hong Kong and Macau. We traveled and exp explored other cultures. And we really enjoyed, I really do enjoy, the, what do you call this? I really do enjoy couple life or a married life. How about you, Sir Niels? Why you've gone so far? <laughs> yeah, thank you for that update. Uh, that should put to rest uh, some of the comments and questions I get uh, quite frequently. About myself, uh, I've also been very busy uh, working in California, and I'm glad I'm back here now. Um, and uh, trying to do sort of an early retirement here if I can. Simple answer, i just been working in California. I'm still uh, uh, a working professional. Um, but I do think that the Philippines is uh, my future home for an early retirement, uh, possibly. And um, I, I just came back uh, a few weeks ago, and I'm very happy to be here. Weather is great, people are great. Uh, it's my favorite country in the world. So uh, hopefully now, guys, you'll be able to see some more videos here uh, because I'm right here in Makati. That's my favorite place in the Philippines. Um, some, some expats, they don't like uh, Manila, which I tend to agree with. It can be very busy, the traffic, yeah. as you know, and there's some poverty in some areas. But uh, in Makati here, uh, I'm looking out through the window here now uh, from my apartment. Um, it, it's clean, it's uh, not too noisy. Um, you have lots of restaurants and international food. It, it's really a wonderful place to live. Isn't the reason Filipinos are dating foreigners just because they are hoping to get some money or sort of an upgrade in their life? Or in other words, there's, there's no love involved and it's just simply a business transaction. Uh, can you say something to these guys that are always commenting about this? Yeah. You know, I'm, I don't believe uh, Filipinos are just after money. Of course, there are gold diggers in every country, but yeah. I seriously believe Filipinos are not, not just after money when they're dating a foreigner. Do you have anything to say about that and yeah. perhaps uh, put to rest this question? I am really saddened about that uh, topic, Sir Niels, because most of the people would think that Filipinas are dating foreigners because of money, because they want to have a good life or a stable life. But for me, it really depends on that situation, I guess, because if that foreigner would meet the girl just somewhere in the street, bar or bad places, I think that there's no affection there's no love in it but if the guy would know that person uh for example uh, that foreigner would go to her family to her, to her home maybe sometimes because they already wanted to try another one because for example me i have i have a filipino ex-boyfriend and I want to, and all my Filipino boyfriends would just give heartaches or 
would just give headaches in me. But because I'm too over, um, too much about Filipino guys, I want to try another one, another foreigner. It's not about money because foreigners are stable. They have dollars, they have yen, they have won. But I think some, some foreigners do appreciate Filipinas and some foreigners do take care of Filipinas because I know there's a different culture within the girl and the guy, but I think uh, it's really not about money. It's not about getting what you want with foreigner guys, but it's about trying to uh, escape from the heartaches or the headaches they had in the past. So they wanted to try a new one or they wanted to try something that could could give them they want to try if a foreigner could love them or could uh, give them the love they deserve to, not because always about money. You said several of your friends uh, have foreigner boyfriends or foreigner husbands. Yeah. Uh, and how is that working out? I guess they are really in a good condition. They were, I have a friend who has a, uh, what do you call this? A... Uh, European husband and they are already in Europe and having kids, white kids and I have workmates they ha uh, she has a I think uh, Australian Australian boyfriend and they have already kid now, a son and there's really no point about questioning someone who loves foreigner because in me, for example I am working in the casino I have lots of foreigner uh, workmates. I work with Chinese, Koreans, uh, uh, f uh, Americans. Americans, different culture. And what if I fall? I fell in love with a uh, Korean guy. The uh, is the are the people would judge me because I have Korean? No, we have on the same workplace. Maybe we have uh, we have created good and positive relationship towards each other through work not because we have met in the bar we have met in the streets we have met online it's like that it's it's not always like that sometimes you can meet foreigners from your work from traveling abroad it's 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 somehow like that it's not always about meeting on the bar meeting because sometimes people are creating bad bad vibes they're just whenever they see foreigners with a filipina or old foreigners with a younger filipina they would say oh he's she's a gold digger she just want money some are like that but I'll tell you, not all and not most, because I have experienced a lot of a lot of friends, a lot of workmates that having good relationship and having good standing with foreigner guy, and it's not a problem anymore. It's already rampant here in our culture. Don't go to bars to find yeah. Filipina girlfriends and. Uh, maybe try to find uh, a girl that's got a day job, not yeah. not somebody that's uh, always working late at night. <laughs> I think you have something in your mind. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. So, if you really want to find a girl that would that would give you the best or would have, uh, you would think you will be forever. I think you should not. Uh, you should not get her online or I'm not saying that it's bad to get girls online but if you really want because online nowadays is very very rampant so if you want to chat her for example you're having long distance relationship try to see each other first before giving money before sending some gifts or what because uh, sometimes it's not really about gifts it's about showing love, showing affection towards the girl because that's our weakness. Money is not our weakness. For some girls, for me, it's not because I really want guy who has, uh, who I think uh, that would show me that I am love and I deserve to be loved. Not 
not because he can give everything to me not because uh he can support me i can support myself i have job i can be independent but i want someone who i can live with with and i will call comfort buddy forever not just for a limited time a limited span of time mm, that's uh, so nice to hear yeah. <laughs> And uh, what about the uh, age differences? Uh, uh, it's pretty common for the foreigners to uh, be middle age or up, uh, dating a girl in uh, her age. yeah her her twenties. Is that frowned upon, or is it okay here in the Philippines? Um, I think it's already okay because on the same culture, Filipina dating old Filipino guy and they had the baby, that's not a problem anymore in any culture, in any aspect. For example, same nationality, Filipino, Filipino, old and, old and young, there's no more problem. Me, I'm dating, for example, I was dating you, Sir Nils, you are about my age. It's not a problem anymore because, like what I have told you a while ago, if love knocks you down, you cannot, you you really cannot control yourself yourself from loving that person even if even if he is 25 years older than you 50 years older than you do you know one of one of the one of the act, actors and actress here in the philippines pauline luna and vic soto pauline luna is i guess in her 20s and Vic Soto is in, her, in, in his 50s. You can search it in the internet. Love has no age. Love has no boundary. It can, is it, it can be filled in a, way that, in, a, in a way that both of you can feel or both of you can understand your relationship. It's not really about age. Age doesn't matter. All right. That's so nice to hear. Yeah. Gives uh, hope for guys like me too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Date why our viewer 